that is genuinely delicious. Cauliflower on cauliflower is good. If you want the lowest calorie density pizza I could possibly think of, go make that. We're going to turn this bag of frozen cauliflower into cheesy pizza. Let's go. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I am going to be showing you a pizza recipe of course, but it's not your standard pizza. It's not got the fluffy dough. This is a super low calorie density pizza. Super healthy, obviously packed full of loads of veggies. We've got, we're using this entire bag of cauliflower, I think. Um, but it's a fantastic pizza alternative that you can use if you're wanting to lower the calorie density, lose weight, get lean and get super healthy. So I hope you guys are excited for this recipe. I've been wanting to do this for days and I haven't had the opportunity. I do have my kids with me. It's going to get squeaky. I've occupied them for like a minute. They're going to come through in a second. So let's go and do this pizza pronto. Come, come, come. Let's do it. I've just made myself a little bit of ice cream, creamsicle ice cream. Let me know if you want the recipe. It's super, super good. So not only am I making the pizza crust with cauliflower, obviously, I'm also making the cheesy mozzarella sauce with cauliflower as well. So this is a full cauliflower. You're gonna get your cruciferous in, that's for sure. You're not gonna be low on the cruciferous if you try this out. But um, yeah, I really wanted to try it out for ages. Let's do it. Abe, hey, we're making the cauliflower pizza now. The babies have arrived. Like anyway, we are going to start by defrosting this entire bag of cauliflower. So let's do it. I'm just going to put it in a bowl and just stick it in the microwave because I'm a lazy rascal. I totally forgot about my cauliflower. It's been about an hour and a half. It was on for so long that I went up and had a bath instead. Um, anyway, I think the cauliflower is ready now. So up so let's do it i'm going to be using my handy dandy food processor to, to turn this cauliflower into cauliflower rice if you wanted a faster alternative you could just buy some cauliflower rice so uh yeah do with it what you will right i'm just chucking the cauliflower into here i'm not going to use all of it because I am going to use some of this cauliflower to make our cheesy sauce which obviously doesn't need to go in here so i'm going to save about that much maybe that much, maybe like mm, a cup and a half of cauliflower. And I'm just gonna blitz this up. It's nice and cool, obviously, and we want it to be cool because we're gonna be squeezing out all the water afterwards. So let's just pop this on. That will have to do, perfect. I found some cheesecloth. I've been doing major deep cleans in my kitchen. I found some cheesecloth and I was like, that's gonna be perfect for my recipe. And now I can't find it. Where the muffins is it? Where are you, cheesecloth? Cheesecloth, got it. Right. Naughty cheesecloth. I agree, it was a naughty cheesecloth. Okay, so we're going to squeeze out as much liquid from this cauliflower as humanly possible so that it's, you know, like yeah. um, dry and pizza -y, you know, you know. Yeah. You can use a cheesecloth, a nut milk bag, maybe like a really good fine mesh strainer. You could use a pair of tights if you fancy it, and if you don't have any other options. Um, I've done that before, like honestly, when I was uh, making cheese, I have used tights in my experimental phases. Okay, so you can see we've got a nice fine cauliflower rice going on here. I'm so excited. I've seen this recipe all over the internet, obviously. I'm gonna do an Amy spin on it, of course. Let me know, let me know right now if you can guess what my addition is going to be. Hmm? Let's see if you're right. Okay, then we're just going to squeeze it all out. Oh wow. It's amazing how much water is actually in this cauliflower. Oh my goodness me. I mean, vegetables are mostly water. I forgot about that. Whoa, I am not going to be drinking this cauliflower water. Although I think Chef AJ would, so maybe I should try it. I don't know. Mommy, what is it? I'm squeezing the cauliflower, Ronnie. Look, this is this is cauliflower water. Have you ever tried cauliflower water, Roms? No. Or is that a bit silly? <laughs> Robbie wants to be my special helper. Come on, Romster. Okay, so that is just so much water. I thought it was just gonna be a little dribble. Yes, yes, that's the stuff, Romsey, that's the stuff. Squeeze that cauliflower. Get your kids involved. 
Are you going to have a bath in the cauliflower water? Yeah. Oh dear. It's going to get messy. Right. Oh my gosh. No, oh, I'm exhausted. Right, I'm calling it a day there. I can't go any further. Right, there's a lot of water. Now, do you know what we do, little Romney? I see some do, 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 in do, 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 do. Oh, I've got a good plan. Should I show you my plan? Yeah. So when you look at the other recipes online, everyone makes a flax egg and then adds it in. But as we're trying to remove as much water as humanly possible from this cauliflower, it doesn't make sense to me to add um, water with the flax egg into the cauliflower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add flax directly into the cauliflower in the hopes that it soaks up the remaining water. Yet, yeah, mommy, that's cauliflower. Do you want to have a taste? Mm. Oh, it's really nice and dry, actually. Here, have a little taste. Mm. What do you think? I eat more. You, you like it? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can eat some more. But don't, this is my pizza. Are you going to share my pizza with me? So we're going to do, Romy, will you help mummy? Right, we're going to do a tablespoon and a half of flax. Pop that in. There we go. We're also going to add in a few seasonings at this point as well. I'm going to do a little bit of salt. There we go. Right, we want this to be as cheesy as possible. And I thought this could add to the dry consistency as well. We're going to do a little bit of Nutrums. Help me do a little sprinkle. Maybe like quarter of a cup or something. So we're also going to add in a few extras. I'm going to add in some mixed herbs um, and some garlic powder as well. Just like a little teaspoon of the mixed herbs. And then a nice little sprinkle. Okay, just give it a nice little mix. Okay, so let's have a little taste of this. The flax, I can tell, has already started to thicken. Wow, that is surprisingly tasty. I would eat... I mean, I would genuinely eat that whole bowl, not gonna lie. I tell you what, if you made this into little nuggets and put it in the air fryer with like some cornstarch. Oh, we need cornstarch. What am I doing? Cornstarch. Okay, we're also gonna do a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. I, I... I was just thinking, I wonder if you added psyllium husk into this, would it be an amazing kind of bread? I'm going to try that. Let me know down below if you would like me to try that recipe out because I think it sounds incredible. Um, so I was going to do an Amy version um, and I was going to add some chickpeas in. But actually, having tasted and seen this, um, this crust in and of itself, I don't think we need to add chickpeas. And I know I've done a chickpea pizza in the past, which is incredible. But if you wanted to bump up the, the protein and the goodness and the fiber and stuff, by all means, blitz up a tin of chickpeas in the food processor until it's like a nice cookie dough and then add that in. I think that would be amazing. But I'm not going to do that today, actually. We're going we're gonna to play it by the rules. We're going to take it easy. Because that is yummy. Okay. Let's assemble our pizza base. All of my baking trays are absolutely filthy. So this is actually the cleanest one, believe it or not. Okay, so I don't want it to stick on the bottom. So I'm going to add some cornmeal. I would use more chunky cornmeal, but I've only got the fine kind. Um, and I know people can often put that at the bottom of a pizza. And I quite like the texture it gives anyway. So we're just going to do that. And then I could roll this out properly, but I actually can't be bothered. So I'm just going to use my hands. I'm just going to use my hands. I mean, you can eat that mixing. Okay, let's see how messy this gets. It's feeling like a nice dough. It's actually sticking together so nicely. I'm so surprised. Wow. Amazing. Who knew? Who knew a cauliflower could do that, eh? Actually, I don't think we're going to want to go thinner than that because I think it's going to tear apart unless you added some almond flour or oat flour or chickpeas or something. I think this is a little bit more of a fragile dough. So we're just going to leave it at that and put it in the oven to bake for maybe like 15, 20 minutes and then maybe add our toppings. I'll let you know. Now we're going to be moving on to our cheesy sauce. Um, this, I think, is going to be a good one. I don't know whether I've used only cauliflower before, but I've definitely used cauliflower in a cheese sauce. And I've got my staple extra ingredients that I put in. So let's do it. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're just going to add in the rest of the cauliflower. You could obviously make a massive batch of this if you wanted to. There we go. So for aciditas, we're going to go in with a bit of lemon. Lemon juice. The juice of one lemon, I think. Maybe lemon juicy. Yucky foo foo, yucky foo foo. I'm also going to go in with some soya milk for my liquid of choice. You could go with water or any other plant based milk that you like. 
we're obviously going to add in nooch for that cheesy flavor i'm probably going to do bye like bye 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 bye, 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 bye babes i love you and then we're gonna go in with some salt obviously cheese is meant to be nice and salty but add as much as you fancy um, i'm also going to add in some more garlic powder because i fancy this being like a garlicky cheese you could add a clove of garlic if you wanted and the magic ingredient is tapioca starch this gives it that lovely stretchy consistency if you have checked out my previous mozzarella video where i use silk and tofu you know that this is the star ingredient uh, but yeah we're going to add in a couple of tablespoons of this good stuff Ooh, boop. Let's, there we go there we go and last but not least you definitely do not have to add this in oh god it's an extra ingredient but it's lactic acid and it just gives things a cheesy flavor it doesn't really have anything to do with the texture. It's all about the flavor. And we just need like a half a teaspoon anyway. So if you don't have that, literally don't worry about it and just don't put it in. Okie dokie. We may need more liquid. I'm not quite sure. But let's blend this up and give it a whirl. You could add some miso if you fancied, but I can't be bothered. We need some more liquid. So I added in a half cup of water as well. I'm gonna give it a quick taste, even though it's got the tapioca starch in, because I wanna see if everything else is right. Mmm, all that is yummy. I think I put too much garlic powder in there, oh God. That's gonna have a kick. Okay, that's, that's gonna work. Okay, grab a pan and pour it on in. I wanna make sure there's no chunks. Hopefully there's no chunks. We are chunk free, yay! I love the fact that you can literally turn any food into anything. You can turn cauliflower into pizza and mozzarella. It's basically like having a bowl of cauliflower, but you're having a pizza. What? 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 Anyway, we're going to heat this up and I'll bring you with me. Turn this on and then we're going to stir it continuously until it starts to thicken. It'll probably take about five, six, seven minutes, but just keep stirring because you do not want to get the bottom bit stuck to the pan. That will be a nightmare and you will burn your pan and I have done that before. So yeah, I'll let you know when it's ready. Okay, as you can see, this is really starting to thicken up nicely. So keep going, keep going. And then it's gonna get nice and like, I don't know if you can see that stretchy goodness. That is exactly what we're after. Okay, have a look at this cheese. You can see how stretchy that is. We're gonna have a little taste because I'm very curious to see what it's like now that it's, um, you know, now that it's cheesy. That is, that is quite cheesy. For a cauliflower, that is incredibly cheesy. I think I still prefer my um, silk and tofu mozzarella, definitely. But that is a very good cauliflower mozzarella. I mean, that is, I mean, that is super low calorie density, isn't it? I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's basically like pouring air onto air because my pizza is also made of cauliflower. I'm gonna definitely have some starchy stuff with my pizza, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Mmm. Wow. Super yum. Happy with that. Oh, wow. I might mix silk and tofu with the cauliflower next time. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think about what I'm actually going to have on top of my pizza, and I don't have a lot of stuff. I'm going to keep it minimal. So I've got some mushrooms. I've got a courgette, and I've got some little baby tomatoes. And I also have some leftover, very old and very dry chickpea nuggets because remember I overcooked them in the last video but I've been putting them on everything and the kids also love them so it doesn't matter how dry they get they are still very tasty I thought I could crumble that on the top and that would be nice so anyway I'm going to cook these and let you know when I'm ready to put it all together okie dokie here is our pizza base it is quite nice and dry I think obviously it's going to be in the oven again so now let's just put on our toppings I've managed to scrounge together a few things I like to be super lazy and just use some tomato puree for the tomato -y base bit. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit on there. I usually do the layer way too thick and so everything gets super soggy in the middle. So I'm gonna try and keep it light because I don't want to over soggy this one. I've sauteed up my mushrooms and my courgettes with a little bit of garlic and some soy sauce. And I'm just gonna give this a light sprinkle. Again, I don't want to put too much topping on because um, I don't want it to 
completely disintegrate on me. Uh, but I will have my veggies, extra veggies separately on the side. Some pineapple because I am a pineapple girl. If you're not, then obviously don't put pineapple in. I know pineapple can be controversial, so I'm sorry for anyone who is offended by the pineapple. I can't get enough of it. Found some sweet corn in the freezer. Thank you, freezer. So a nice little sprinkle of sweet corn. And then we're going to go in with our cheesy sauce. So I'm just going to do some nice blobs as opposed to drizzles. I think blobs just so it kind of looks like melted mozzarella discs, I think would be quite nice. So there we go. Oh no, I've made it too fat, haven't I? I've made it too fat. I told myself not to make it fat. I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to stop. Everything I make is just fat. I just get too excited, even when I'm trying to keep it minimal. Oh well, oh well. Okay, and voila, our pizza is ready. Look, it looks so pizzery. Oh, I'm gonna do an extra sprinkle of herbs on the top. I always love a little sprinkle on the top. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. There we go, right. Back into the oven for I don't know how long until it seems ready. Oh yes, I didn't put these nuggets on because I'll tell you what happened. My kids ate them and there's only one nugget left, so. Okie dokie, pizza is, I think it's ready. I need to go out and buy some popcorn for movie night. So I'm gonna call it a day on the pizza front. Let's get it on a plate and let's taste this baby because it looks delicious. I'm worried about the transfer, it could get messy. Oh my gosh, guys, let's do this together. Will you do it with me? Be my support people. I hate transfer when you, when you could just completely muck up all the hard work. Okie dokie. Let's do this, hopefully. Ah, I didn't put enough corn flour down. Please don't die, please don't die. Don't die. Okay, I hope it slides off in one piece. Yes, it does. Oh, success, success. I'm just gonna top it with a few little cherry tomatoes just to give it a nice burst of color. I would put some rocket on if I had some. In fact, I might go and grab some from the shops while I'm out. Ain't that pretty? Oh yes, cauliflower baby. Let's, let's eat it. I think I'm gonna just have to do more tearing pieces off than having, I tell you what, we could try a slice. Okay, okay, you've convinced me. We're gonna try a slice, okay? Mm. Could it work? Could it work? I don't know. You can pick up the majority of a slice. Okay, that's not bad. I wasn't expecting to be able to do that. Oh, that's actually pretty solid. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, yes. Let me just have a bit of crust on its own. That is surprisingly delicious, guys. And I know... I know I'm eating a cauliflower and I know that's a weird thing to say when you eat cauliflower, but that is genuinely delicious. Cauliflower on cauliflower is good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. If you want the lowest calorie density pizza I could possibly think of, go make that. Okay, yeah, it was a little bit more effort than, well, I mean, all pizza's effort, isn't it really, if you're going to make it from scratch, to be fair. Mm. Wow, that's so good, guys. That's so good. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this yummy. Mm. If someone gave that to you, no way would you know that you were just eating a head of cauliflower. In fact, I think that's more than a head of cauliflower, actually. Wow, super yum. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, let me know if you go and try this crazy concoction. Let me know what you think of it. I am digging it. I love it. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy a movie night, stuff my face with a lovely pizza, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!